And then the third matter which makes a transaction null and void is when the transaction it contains riba. So Ibrahim in his Sheikh Ibrahim in his supermarket he sells gold, and and a person comes along, and he wants to buy a one kilo block of gold. So Ibrahim says to him that one kilo block of a bar of gold it's a million pounds, and the buyer says I've got no issue with that. So no. He says that I want to buy a one kilo bar of gold. And Ibrahim, he sets his price. And he goes, okay, I'm happy with that price. Give me the one kilo bar of gold, but I don't have any cash with me right now. In five minutes, I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to take out the money and I'll come straight back to you and I'm going to give you the money which we agreed on. Take, uh, you can, and you can take guarantees from me. Take my phone, take my passport, take my card, keep this with you. And, and give me the gold and I'm going to come with the money in five minutes. This is haram and this is the riba. And this brother, his wife said to him that this particular gold which I own, it's old and I don't like it. And I want the new type of gold which is being sold in Sheikh Ibrahim's shop. So his wife, she collected all her gold and it came to one kilogram, but it's old. And then the husband brings the one kilo of old gold to Ibrahim and he said take this kilo of gold which is old and give me new gold so I can give it to my wife and she can be pleased with it. and he says to him okay I will take a kilo of the old gold and in exchange I will give you half a kilo of the new gold and he says it's haram why because it is riba but he replies but the gold which you are giving me is old and the gold which I have is new and there's a difference between them and this is also haram why because gold has to be sold or exchanged in same amounts. A kilogram of gold for a kilogram of gold. And if a person was to say, but if you right now, if you were to take this old gold and you would sell it, even though it's a kilogram, however, its value is on, will only match half a kilogram of the gold which I have. So why is it haram? It's haram because it is riba. Now, what should this one do? A way out of this is for this person to go and sell the kilo of his gold. So what he can do is he can go sell his gold for cash, the one kilo of gold for cash. And then with that money, then he can purchase whatever Sheikh Ibrahim is selling, even if it only comes to half a kilo. So this is how it is correct. Sheikh al-Mithal al-Awwal. So Ibrahim said to him, okay, come now, let's calculate it, let's work it. That which you have is a kilo. And Ib Sheikh Ibrahim says to him that this kilo of gold which you have, according to my calculations on today's rate, it's worth, for example, a million. Meaning, its current value in the market is a million. So choose whatever new piece of gold which you want. Which and he chose a kilo of new gold. So if he said to him, let me check the value of the new uh, the gold which I have, he said, your kilo of gold, its value according to today's market is one million pounds. And the kilo of new gold which I am selling, its market on the value today is one and a half million. So let's exchange the gold, but give me an extra half a million. Is this correct? This is also not correct. Okay, no. a new example. And now there's another situation. And that is that the one who is, wants to exchange a kilo of his old gold for the new, he says to him, instead of me going to a different shop, external to this, and going to sell to them, why don't I just sell the gold to you, and you give me the money, and then I will buy the new gold from you. And the Sheikh said that this is permitted as long as they don't have a prior agreement that he will buy the new gold with that money, meaning, he sells the old gold as a separate transaction and there's no agreement for him to buy the new gold and then separately he can buy the new gold if he wants but if there's a prior agreement then maybe they will try to find a way to bring riba into the transaction if a person said to ibrahim that i want to buy a kilo of gold but in installments now installments and every month i will pay off an installment is this correct also, this is not correct when it comes to buying gold. Because when it comes to buying or exchanging gold for gold or gold for currency, then it has to be in one sitting and both the commodities have to be exchanged and it has to be immediate. So 
أنا بس أوضح هذا المثال. طيب نعم. Just the last example which the Sheikh gave the very scenarios. The point was that when it comes to exchanging gold for gold or currency for gold, it has currency. to. Currency. ال ال ما الفلوس. كاش طيب نعم. أني الذي تأخر وذهب إلى البنك خمس دقائق. نعم. The point is that you cannot delay the exchange by five minutes or ten minutes. It has to be immediate. And the commodities have to be exchanged then and there. So these three matters which we have mentioned: firstly, al-gharar wal-jihala, ambiguities; secondly, al-zulm, oppression; and thirdly, al-riba. These are the main causes of a transaction being haram. What's correct in the first scenario is if Sheikh Ibrahim said to his customer that I'm going to keep the gold with me, and you go to your to the bank and go collect your cash. And then when you, when you bring your cash, then we will exchange. But it has to be hand in hand, meaning it has to be immediate. You give me the cash, I give you the gold without delay. 